Hello, friends, and welcome back to r slash I don't work here, lady. The first story about Karen, who doesn't know how to behave in public places and ends up getting what she deserves. The second story is about a rich guy who thought everyone around him had to serve him. And a third story about what real justice tastes like. But before we start, I want to say thank you so much to everyone who supports the channel and comments. And I hope you've already subscribed so you don't miss any of our new videos. Let's get started. Lady screams at me because of a price tag when I don't even work there. So the cast is Karen, me, employee, manager. This took place not too long ago, 2018, at a local shopping mall in Aurora where I'm from. I had the day off, so I thought I'd go get myself some discounted jeans and maybe some shoes. So I go to the mall, get myself some lunch before I go shopping. Nothing big, just some Burger King since the line was short. So I get my food, eat, then head to the shop I wanted to go to. I find the pants I wanted, then headed to the dressing room to try them on. I ended up picking out several shirts along the way, and when I got to the dressing room, I tried on the jeans and picked a shirt that looked the best for me. When I stepped out of the dressing room, hangers in hand, headed out to put the shirts I didn't want back, nicest thing you can do for a store worker is to put your items back, and made my way to the checkout counter. A woman stepped in front of me before I was inside of the checkout area. Karen, can you tell me the price of these shirts? This Karen was like the target one. She had the hair, but it was bright pink, like she was hoping it'd make her look younger. Me. Price should be on the tag. Karen. There isn't one, so I'm asking. Me. Then go ask an employee. I'm trying to shop. Karen. No, you're not. I saw you put items on the racks. What's the price of these jeans? Me. You know I don't work here, right? Karen. Tell me the price. I just rolled my eyes. Fine. Hey, they're on sale. Five dollars for ten. Karen, finally. Thanks for wasting my time. Then she left. I rolled my eyes and kept walking, hoping that Karen would notice I was clearly lying. Everything was 30% off, so I saw her grab 20 shirts at $16 each. I got to the checkout counter and went to pay for my new jeans and shirt, thinking of the sale Payless was having long before their closing. That's when I hear it. Karen, I don't believe you. It's not that much. I turned to the register three lanes from me and saw the Karen screaming at the employee. I got a good look at the total and smirked. I told her the shirts she wanted were $5 for 10. She grabbed 20 shirts for $16. She didn't even bother to see if I was lying or not. Her total was around $350, maybe $370. My eyesight isn't as good as it used to, but it was over $300. Karen, these are all on sale. Employee, yes, they are. They're on sale for $16 each. Karen, no, I was told they were $5 for 10. Employee, who told you that? She saw me and pointed. Her. I raised my brow, acting like I had zero clue what was happening. Me. Sorry? I think you have me confused with someone else. I don't work here, lady. Karen, you told me they were cheap. Employee, ma'am, if you're not going to pay, then we need to be putting these items back. Karen, you will do no such thing. I paid for my items and left the checkout area, but hid around the corner to watch. Manager, ma'am, if you're not going to pay for these items, then I must ask you to leave. You're holding up the line. Karen, I'm not paying that much for these shirts. They're on sale. Manager, yes, they are. The total would have been $450. If you're not going to pay, then I need you to leave now. I smirked and left the store and headed to pay less. Hearing screaming Karen as he was dragged out by security was very satisfying. I bought some nice sneakers and went home. It was a fun day. Someone's sarcasm detector is broken, but the self-inflated self-esteem is off the charts. And moving on to our second story. So I hucked it in a sewer. This happened yesterday afternoon, so I'm still waiting to see exactly how it all played out. I'll happily update if and when I get more details. My best friend works at a swanky hotel, the kind that has a spa, two restaurants, a bar slash saloon slash whatever, a pool and a hot tub and a gym. Real classy place. I don't work there. I mean, I'd love to work there. They make good money. But after this incident, I doubt they'd hire me. It was a Saturday, which is my only day off. And like I sometimes always do, I was at the hotel just chilling out on their patio waiting for my buddy to get off work so we could smoke bowls and watch crappy movies. 
It was my day off, so I was wearing my day off outfit. Scum tier clothing, gray sweatpants, dirty red go-go bordello shirt, and a pair of ratty torn 10-year-old Nikes in red, only a complete idiot would mistake me for an employee. Enter idiot. I'm watching people fight each other on YouTube on my phone and smoking a cigarette, leaned up against one of those brick not quite walls they put around fancy hotels. You know the kind that only come up to about your waist and don't actually connect to each other or any place? Off in the distance, I could hear the sound of a car pulling up, but, like, who cares? This happens all the time. My face was buried in my phone between drags from my American Spirit Black when suddenly something really hard hit me in the shoulder. It didn't hurt bad, but it did sting and startled the crap out of me. So naturally, I spazzed out and almost dropped my phone from being startled. While I'm still collecting myself and remembering to breathe after I thought I was about to break my phone, a voice says, Yeah, pay attention, kid. I'm 31, with a full beard and a dad bod. I can't be mistaken for a kid of any stripe. Looking up, I lay my eyes on the yuppiest mother effer that ever traded up from Gap to Banana Republic. He's middle-aged, bald, rocking a ponytail, dead giveaway for massive D-bag, with a blazer, distressed jeans, and a Ramones t-shirt that probably cost more than my car. The thing that hit me was a key fob for a really nice car. It was a BMW, but looked like the effing Batmobile, if the Batmobile was a shiny, opalescent blue and white. I don't know a lot about cars, but it had those doors that open up, like on a hinge, and it was clearly really, really expensive. This balding, yuppie mother effer is getting out with the leather man purse as he chides me for not paying attention. I'm still reeling from having almost dropped my phone on the ground as he brushes past me toward the entrance. As he goes by, he says, I'm going to need it at 8. If you're actually paying attention when I get back, I might have something for you. And he's gone. Walks into the entrance like he owns the place. And maybe he does. The key fob is sitting on the ground by my foot. The Batmobile is idling by the curb. It's weird sideways door still open. Now, quite frankly, I'm a jerk. If you look at my post history, you'll see I'm a jerk. I think cruel people should be treated with a hundred times more cruelty. I think thieves should be robbed, so what I did next should be no surprise. I closed the door, I've since been told it's called a gullwing door, pressed the lock button while the car was still running, and hucked the key fob in the sewer grate a few meters away, then I just continued waiting for my buddy for another 10 minutes before he finally got out. He came out and was like, whoa, whose car is that? I shrugged, probably some a-hole, then we left. Yeah, well, you can count on that if you throw away your keys at people you don't know. Now we go to our third story. Got free drinks to spite a bee. After work, walk to the bar to meet some friends for drinks. My bladder's a walnut, so back and forth to the washroom regularly, past a party of four at a table. On the return of the first toilet run, I hear something like, Come here, you, from a woman who looks like she just dipped her head in a bucket of makeup. Lack of manners do not dignify a response. Ignore it and rock on. Second trip to the washroom. Didn't get it all out. This B-word grabs my arm, squeezes her nails in, pulling me in close, and says four of the same while tapping the glass with her other hand's nails. B-word elegant, I think, she was imagining herself. In reality, just really damn aggressive and nasty. I don't work here, lady. She let go, and I walk away. It's known in the bar any waiter can serve any table. They won't come to you, just get any of their attention, like she would have done to get the drink she has, because I doubt they would have waited that long without a drink, but she seems determined now. It's got to be me. Third trip to the toilet. It's worse than usual. Catch a death glare, and on my way back, she kicks her bag under my feet to trip me up, sort of succeeds, and snarls I better not have broken anything. And where are her drinks, she asks. Fair game now. Back in a moment, they'll be on the house. Back to my table I go, out of line of sight with her now thanks to a wall and in my safe space away from crazy with booze. Perfect. Place is dead quiet. I hear a commotion a few minutes later kicking up, tune my ear in, none other than her. Ah, she's arguing with the manager and some waiter about not being served. She wants her waiter to bring her free drinks like promised or they leave. He's soft-toned, and I can't quite make out what he says, just her loud, obnoxious self. A storm is brewing. I lie and wait. Or not. Can't hold pee any longer. Take a different route. Go pee. 
Walk back out of washroom and she notices me. Drink in her hand like she wanted to crush it to death. Like she was just awarded a trophy that required a death grip. A mission in her eyes while looking like some sort of fugly meerkat. She was on the lookout for me. Decide eff it. Walk past the table at a speed like I'm rushing to explain myself, but just enough speed by with a great big stupid vacant smile. IRL trolling. Explosion. She throws a large ice jug from the table at my back, shrieking in some trashy Amazonian tribal display. Hits me, no injury, but startled and fall. Manager comes rushing, sweat pumping out of her at this point, makeup contours blending together, 190 over 140 blood pressure type stuff. Screaming like a loon, she'll get what she wants. Manager assesses the situation, and some older woman states something like, she just threw the jug at him, no reason, and demanded her buy her a free drink. Close enough, and even makes her seem more Looney Tunes. Manager tells her she's barred, out, or police will be called. Making threats now her boyfriends? Yes, with an S. We'll be down soon to sort this out. Manager asks her to confirm she is making a physical threat. Grinding her teeth, she stomps out, irreparably tearing ankle tissue with her heels going off balance with her alpha walk, obviously struggling, probably considering an A&E trip afterwards. Manager apologized. I say it's cool, not his fault. Handled it well. She was just crazy, etc., etc. Can I get you and your friends around? It's on the house. Ah, for that moment, in those first few sips, I swear I could actually taste justice. It had earthy tones, with a hint of citrus, with a faint odor of courtroom and elderflower. I'm glad you were able to get some free drinks out of the situation. And thank you all for watching the video to the end. I'll see you in the next one.